y'all. Um, today I want to talk about my day piercing. Um, I've seen a lot of videos out here on YouTube about this. Um, I actually researched a lot of the videos before I made the plunge and got the piercing. Um, a day piercing is in my case, in, I don't know if you can see this, but I'll put, I'll add a picture right here. Um, it's to help with migraines. Um, like I said, I did a lot of research before I made this choice because for one, I knew it was going to hurt. And two, um, I've never been able to keep a cartilage piercing. Um, they just don't heal good. Um, I really only wear like 14 karat gold earrings. Um, the cheaper jewelry metal doesn't do good in my ears. It just doesn't last. I don't know. Um, I did get this right here pierced um, in Lake Tahoe, California several years ago. And by the time I got home, it had just pushed its way out of my ear. It was really weird how it, it never got infected and never hurt. My ear just rejected it. So the reason I wanted the piercing, I have migraines, migraines that will put you in the bed. Um, I have shots for my migraines. It's Imitrex shots. This is the pen, and then you put it in here and load it, and refills. So, when I get a migraine, actually, when I think it's going to be a migraine, I usually try to wait until I know for sure that it's going to be a migraine. Um, you can tell if you've had migraines, you know, because once you take the shot, you're out of commission for the rest of the day. You just have to go to bed. Um, the shot hurts. It hurts really bad. I don't know why. I don't know if it's the needle. I don't know if it's what we're injecting. I don't know. So, that's why I did a lot of research on day piercings. Um, everything I found was positive. The only negative thing was um, a lot of people had infections. Um, the pain... You know, that was the really only negative things that I found about it. So, I kind of forgot about it for a while. And then I worked with a girl who had both of hers done at the same time. Both ears. Um, well, I knew I wasn't going to do both of them at the same time. She had no, no problems. Hers did fine. No infections. No nothing. So, I talked to her for a little bit about, I talked to her like every day about it. She didn't have any migraines ever since she got her piercings done. And I know people say it's a placebo effect, yada, yada, yada. Well, I was willing to take that risk. So, I decided to get it done. It was March, I don't know, middle of March 2016. I did it. I did the one ear. And I did this one because... I primarily sleep on this side. If that they say if you're gonna get one done, do the one um, opposite the side you sleep on. If you're gonna do both done, you need to sleep on your back for a while. Um, I can't sleep on my back. Um, I'm a bigger girl, as you can tell. Anyway, I just can't sleep on my back. So I got this one done. Um, it hurt. It hurt really bad. I, I could hear the needle as it crunched through my skin okay so he got the, the the ball the you know the barbell on there everything fine no problems i left um it felt really good i took a picture of it that day i don't know if i still have that picture but i will insert some pictures of the progression of it um what happened and all that as you could see in the video I showed you at first, I do still have it. Um, I left that day. It was sore, but it didn't hurt. Um, 
took extra good care of it. You know, they give you a sheet of stuff you're supposed to go by. I washed it. I cleaned it. I put Epsom salt water on it. Um, I put everything on it I was supposed to. Nothing I wasn't supposed to. Let's see. And if you're watching this video, you know what you're supposed to put on it. You know what you're not supposed to put on it. So, about three months in, it started hurting. And it was tender to, like, I couldn't even touch it. It was really bad. So, I watched some more videos on YouTube. And I saw a video of a girl who did an Epsom salt paste. Um, crunch the Epsom salt up, smash it up a little finer, like regular salt, and add water and make a paste. And just cake the paste on the top ball, cake it on the bottom ball, because there's two. I did that, that worked. Okay, it cleared it up, like almost overnight, cleared it up. So, um, and then like a week later, the infection came back. This happened for six months, at least. It was really, really bad. And, and I'm going to say, they tell you not to touch the piercing. While it's healing, don't touch it unless you're cleaning it. That was probably a downfall of mine because I touched it. And I touched it a lot. Especially if it hurt, I would just kind of move the bar around. Because now I can move it. Like, I didn't realize the bar had so much space on the bottom. See how far it hangs down? I didn't realize it even did that because it stayed so swollen. I didn't realize the bar was that big. So, um, I, I, I nurtured it. I cared for it. I babied it. I didn't sleep on that side. Um, you're not supposed to use hairspray near it. So many things because that's a hard part to heal. So, then I came across a video of a girl that was using, um, I think it's called Bacitracin. It's in um, Neosporin, or I don't want to say Neosporin. It's not in that. I found it in an off-brand. So you're supposed to find Bacitracin in in an ointment where Bacitracin is the first ingredient. Okay, I did that. I did what she said. That worked. It cleared it up and it, it kept it clear. And basically to me it was a Neosporin, but not Neosporin brand. But I did look on Neosporin. Bacitracin was not the first ingredient in there. So you need to find an ointment that has Bacitracin as the first ingredient. And I may be saying that wrong, but you know what I'm talking about. So, and if I can find the ointment that I used, I'll, I'll show it. So, I put that on there. That worked. I had to do it a couple times. It worked. It worked good. Um, I did that for about a month because it's almost been a year. So, I did that for about a month. Then, all of a sudden, here we go again. It's infected again. And I said, you know what? Oh, and another thing I would do, every time I took a shower, every day, I would just let the water run over it. Just, just let it flush it out. Because I knew the infection was inside. It wasn't on either end. It was inside because you, you could just tell where it was. So, I said, I went back to the place where I got it pierced first. And I was going to ask him to take it out. Well, he was never there. It's just a local place here. He was highly recommended, but he was never there. So, that might have been a good thing. So, I got with my mom. She's a nurse. And, you know, she put her gloves on. I put my gloves on. Um, we had these, like, I don't know what those are medical term for it. I don't know what it is. But she used it on the top ball because we didn't know which ball to unscrew to take it off. So we tried and tried and tried. We tried for 30 minutes to get the ball off, to unscrew it, to take the earring out. It, it didn't happen. Nothing happened. We couldn't get it out. We couldn't get the balls off. Nothing. So I said, well, just leave it. I'll, I'll go see if he's there again. So this was like November. I went over there two more times. He still wasn't there. His hours were like 
I want to say one in the evening to like one in the morning. It was really weird, but anyway. And it was on the other side of town, and I live in the boonies, so anyway. Um, after that day, I don't know when I realized it, but after me and my mom tried to take it out, I didn't have any more trouble with it. Nothing. Nothing at all. And I had heard in doing research before that it took a good year to heal. That, that's the truth. That is the God's honest truth. It's January. It's the end of January. And I have absolutely no trouble at all. Now, it feels like a normal piercing. Like, it feels like this piercing. Like, there's nothing. Like, I can... Now, I play with it all the time. And I know I shut. And if I ever have anything on my ear and it gets down in there, you know, it may still have like a little frost spot or something. I don't know, but... I have, I was going to bring the earring out here. I have another little earring. It's a heart, a gold heart that I want to put in there now. Of course, I would have to have him do it. I don't think you can change those out yourself. I wouldn't attempt it anyway. So, that's my story <laughs> with um, a Dave Pearson. It, I, I equaled it to having a baby because you had to take care of it every flipping day. And just like be really careful with it and don't touch it, which was a problem. And clean it, clean it two or three times a day. Like I cleaned it all the time. Like I was forever in the bathroom messing with my ear. I took pictures of it all the time. All the time. So I only insert some pictures of how I knew it was infected. It's not gross. There's nothing. It's just, just red. Um, there were other pictures where you could see the infection. But I would never put those on here. That's just wrong. Although some people like to see that kind of stuff. But um, I'll insert some pictures of when it was at its worst and what it looks like now close up. So I hope this helps somebody. Um, also, I forgot to say, I have had one migraine since having the Pearson. And I did, in all my research... It was it was 50-50. Like, some people say if you have your migraines on the right side, you need to get the right side pierced. If you have it on the left side, you need to get the left side pierced. And that made sense to me. All my migraines are on the left side, and I got the right side pierced. So, I'm pretty sure I've had a migraine since then. It was not near as bad as they normally are, and I didn't have to take a shot. So, whether it's the placebo effect or whether it really works... It works for me. So, um, hope you enjoyed this video. And thank you guys for watching. Bye.